Everything is distracted. People come in, start businesses, and then they are running. If you complain now, hey, youth unemployment, people are not getting jobs to do. Everybody's doing, hi guys, look at me. It's so sad. Waking up and then realizing you are a Ghanaian is so sad. Very, very sad because of how our leaders take us for. And I think at this point, there's no future for the youth of Ghana because we don't know whether we are going or we are coming. Even traffic lights, traffic lights have green and then red turned on at the same time. Whether to stop, get ready or to go, we don't know where we are going to. Because sometimes you ask yourself, the people that we vote in power, that they are supposed to lead us, what they are supposed to do to make the average Ghanaian feel like I'm enjoying, we are not getting it. What they are supposed to do for you to feel that, okay, do this for me, we are not doing it. Bro, how difficult is it to win election in Ghana? It is just simple. We vote for you for four years, do the work. When it's time for election again, you don't even need to campaign because you know you have done the work. The work will speak for you and then we are going to vote for you based on what you have done. But we live in a country where we vote for people to come to power and then when they come, they start comparing themselves to previous government. Bro, the previous government did worse. So we voted for you to come and improve or do better. But then you come... And then you do worse. Then after performing worse, you tell us that you are better than the previous government. I want to understand, is John Dramani Mahama the benchmark in Ghana politics? Because anytime someone is speaking, I have done better than John Dramani Mahama. I have done better than the NDC. Bro, they have done worse and we wanted you to improve. We gave you eight years to come to government and improve. We are three months or four months or five months to election. And then our leaders don't have any tangible thing to tell us that this is what we have done and we are campaigning with. Yesterday, the unveiling of the running mate for Dr. Muhammad Bahumia, a.k.a. Napo, yes. He was unveiled at the Jubilee Park yesterday. And a lot of things have transpired. If you go on Twitter, especially Facebook, even on news this morning, a lot of Ghanaians are mad because of what the running mate for Dr. Mahmoud Baumia said, and people didn't agree that Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and His Excellency Nanado Danko Akufuado, Nanado has performed better than Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Ghana, let's see Ghana, Bakosama. President Akufuado called retirement. But if you miss that case, we will say, a free side, let's see Ghana from 1957. That is not a problem. Yesterday, throughout his delivery, after he was unveiled, he made a statement saying, say, there is no doomsaw in Ghana as compared to the previous leadership. The doomsaw in Ghana is doom CC. So they turn it off and then they fix it. Doom saw and then doom CC. Bro, I'm here to tell you that doom saw and doom CC, they are just synonyms. They are just synonyms. It doesn't mean anything because one person will doom after a while. They will turn it on. It will be so. Someone will also doom and fix and turn it on. It is still the same thing. Doom so and doom CC is the same thing. He said, said there is no doom so and under their jurisdiction, it is not doom so. It is doom and then they fix it. Doom CC. Before he even spoke, the president spoke. And the president said, the people saying that there is doom so in this country, it's a big lie. It is not true. Doom so has never happened. Doom so is never going to happen. Watch the video. Dr. Dr.
Nanadi na kwa kufu ado so. Adebia amanyo semu. Abbe wia sida. Ya baka na ha. Opea antono. School structures are yesi. School dudu are yesi. School buildings are yesi. Ebe tu na na kufu ado da. Opea antono na na kufu ado. In fact, you have few. In Kolako Trumpi is here. No mutu ya. Ezanfi. Nanadi na kwa kufu ado ahede. Wachem. Na muko ya wasia ya pabu wa msobu tuya school fees. Na na kufuwa duwa hede. Onu kuwa ni president wa ba wa suda ye. So basi hospital ba kuba 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 ko. A hundred and an eleven. Umpa we na ape diye. In 2016 when he came, he elected Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempre as the education minister 2016. He led the free SHS agenda. They did it very well. Yes. Free SHS. Very well. Take. 2020, the second term, that he elected him as the energy minister. Therefore, he's going to be in charge of the dam that Kwame Nkrumah built, Akosobo Dam. He was in charge. And under his watch, the president said there has not been any doom so under his watch, bro. I sleep in darkness most of the time. I've rented and about half of my rent. I've stayed at my apartment like eight, eight months. About three months into that apartment, I've slept in darkness. We can be in the studios working and then there is darkness. There was a time I went to the barbering shop. After half trim, naturally my hair is not out. This is not the haircut I wanted to even have. It was Ponky Joe that I used to do. But Doom Saw has brought me to this level. Sometimes, look at my hairline. Look at my hairline. It's as a result of doom saw. Because the barber was taking good care of my hair. In the midst or during the process, they turned off the light and the barber mistakenly entered my right side. So if you look at my hairline, the right hand side has entered as a result of doom saw. And I'm not going to forgive these people. But they will be online. They will be active telling us there is no doom so, but rather doom CACA. What are you CACA in, bro? MPP has been in government for eight good years. What are you CACA in? Today, yesterday, after all this statement, fine. No Ghanaian has complained. Today, this morning, parliament, there is light out. And the plant is not even working. So they are now looking for people to come and work on it. Watch the video. That is the parliament of Ghana. No light. Yesterday, after they unveiled the running mate for MPP, who is in government, where the president told us there is no doom, so doom, so never come. A report from City TV today tells us that there is doom, so in parliament. There was a time at the information ministry when the minister for communication was giving a speech, doom, so. Nat Hall, Dr. Muhammad Baumia was giving a speech, Youth Concert or Youth Connect, light out. We are going to start going around to the schools and issue Ghana card ID numbers. Bro, why? What have the youth of Ghana done to deserve this? Bro, and governing a country shouldn't be anything difficult. You just have to be honest with yourselves. Just do the work to the extent. You see, I feel like when we work, when a leader works, you don't need me to tell you that you have worked. Deep down, you sit down, you know that, no, my eight years in government, I have worked. I have done this. I have done that. You see, yesterday they said the president has uh, wanted to build 110 hospitals. One district, one factory. See, when, when, when you speak like this, people feel like you belong to opposition. See, it's about time we forget. When any time, because our leaders, any time they are speaking, they are comparing themselves to the other party. Bro, let's put the other party aside. Let's put the other party aside. And let's be honest with ourselves. The fact that I am complaining doesn't mean I belong to NDC or I belong to MPP or I belong to USC or I belong to CZZ or I belong to BBC or I belong to CNN. No, bro, I am a Ghanaian. I am experiencing it. 
I am feeling it. Transport fares are increasing. But then you see leaders who stand and tell you that yesterday, Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempre told us that no one has worked more than the president of Ghana. Bro, how? Dollar peak 15 cities. Digitalization economy. Everything is distracted. People come in, start businesses, and then they are running. If you complain now, hey, youth unemployment, people are not getting jobs to do. Everybody's doing, hi guys, look at me. Everyone is starting something on their own. There was a time they interviewed one of our leaders and they said, they, 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 we have to start something on your own. In parliament, when they were reading the budget this year, they said they have created 2.1 million jobs. Bro, Steve, jobs or bro jobs? What jobs have you created? Look, parliament house, look at the doom so. And you tell me what is happening that parliament is doom CAC. It's only in Ghana that we have a political party rule for eight years. Going into the, the, the next one, the third one, their third term, first term, second term, eight years, going into the third term, we have the, 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 the person contesting telling us that vote for me. When you vote for me, I'll cancel everything my government did in eight years and start my old thing. The previous, the current government, E-Levy, betting tax, a lot of taxes, import duties and all that. Now, the person who was the former vice president, who is still the vice president, is telling us when we vote for him, he's going to cancel E-Levy. He's going to cancel betting tax, import duties. He's going to limit the ministers to 50. So does it mean that everything that your government did in eight years is a waste of time that we have to vote for you to cancel it? Oh. Ow! 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 You know the writing, but you are not doing it. We have one million ways to win election, but we don't have two ways to develop the country. If someone tells you Ghana is poor, that is very, very, that's a lie. Our president told us that we are poor because of bad leadership. Why am I poor? A young guy like me, I can't even afford a land truck. I can't even buy land. I can't afford three square mil because the system doesn't favor me. If you save today that you want to get money, you want to buy a vehicle in August, we are in July. If you save today that July, you want to buy a vehicle. By the time, no, by August, by the time August comes, the vehicle price has increased times two. Last year, Toyota Vit was around 20, 25,000. Today, Toyota Vit is 80,000. Imagine you are saving a year to start a business. Saving a year to rent a shop to start your own business. By the time your money is ready, then prices have increased. Bro, how? Hey! <laughs> you go on social media, you see people defending it. My goodness, you are the problem. You, that individual, you are part of the problem. You play a major role in doing that because, bro, how do you defend something that you can clearly see that, no, this thing that my party is doing is not right? If the government is really working, if this government is really working, I bet you that even NDC politicians will vote for MPB because they are working. If NDC was also working, you see MPP voting for NDC. Right now, hey, people don't even want to vote. People don't find interest in voting. People feel like we don't even have leaders in the country because all they do is stand and tell us lies. There is light, you go there, there is no light. There is a factory, you go there, there is no factory. There is this, you go there, ow, bro. Ow. Ow. <sighs> Petroleum engineer don't have a future. Someone who studied the medicine doesn't have future in Ghana. 
A nurse is planning to leave the country. Telecommunications engineer wants to leave the country. Public relations want to leave. Someone who did political science want to leave. Oh! A time will come, there will be Ghana, the human resources wouldn't be available. <laughs> Look at this! I've been saving, 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 saving to buy a vehicle. I go to the shop, price has increased. How? The yesterday's Indomie has been doubled. The price has been doubled. Pure water has increased. Water bill increased. Electricity bill increased. But every single day, they turn off lights. But they'll tell you with a synonym that this is Doom CACA. Then we we'll have people defending Doom CACA. And then we have something called Doom so bro. What There shouldn't be any Doom in the first place. The only Doom that we should enable in this country is Kundum Festival. The only Doom that we should enable in this country is Krobo or Doom The only Doom is the tree or Doom. The only doom that we should enable is in, in this country is Odumo do black. Odumo do black. That's the only doom we have to enable here. But my country has taken the saw and then they are still maintaining the doom and CSA. You are CSA, you bought eight, seven and a half years in government. You need three months to CSA. If you work, you don't even have to campaign. I'll vote for you. But this is the state of the economy. This is more than a state of the nation address. Our leaders know it, but they won't do it. Why should they do it? Champagne for a few instead of safe drinking water for everyone. That is what our leaders have adopted. <laughs> they want Hennessy for 50 people instead of pure water for 30 million population. That is the state of our economy now going into election year things are hard things are hard going to election year five months to election things are hard why your kid brother who is in the shs doesn't have a promising future my kid brother in jhs doesn't have a promising future if you don't have background it's not about whom you know now it is who knows you whom you know you can know someone but the person doesn't know you so now it is who knows you if they don't know you you are not getting positions if they don't know you you are not getting scholarships brilliant but needy students has now become a dance no the dance is a foolish person i can't use foolish a dance is a, I can't, brilliant but needy students has now become <sighs> ladies and gentlemen hmm. don't give up Ghana will be great again we just need the right people at the right time to do the right job. My name is Ace Kanti. This episode is brought to you by Lemfi. Send money from US, UK, Canada to Ghana and other nine affiliate countries. Use the promo code DINGO and enjoy amazing discounts. We out.